how does a girl from Beaconsfield, Iowa, with a population of less than 20, become the commander of the International Space Station? I don't know, I think it's kind of a miracle, actually. <laughs> You have broken another incredible record. You will have spent more days in space than any other U.S. astronaut. I'm sure there's somebody out there keeping track. Do you think that our bodies and brains could actually handle a mission to Mars? Actually, that's exactly why we're spending this time up here, is to find out what the limitations are so that when we get ready to go to Mars, we will know that we are capable and ready. What advice would you give to young girls out there who hope to go to space one day? The biggest piece of advice I would say is don't underestimate yourself, push yourself, challenge yourself to do more than you think you can. Enjoy it. It's going to be a blast. You're going to love every second of it. Be in zero gravity and move around uh, at will is just amazing. The late, great John Glenn last flew to space when he was 77 years old. Any indication if you'll be still flying to space when you're 77, Peggy? If I'm not dead. <laughs>